Republicans want to put forth policies that actually make it harder for us to vote, that make it more difficult for us to vote. That's a direct attack on not just black and brown folks, but on democracy in general. Republicans are firmly set on recapturing the House majority. The odds are in their favor. The odds are in their favor, in their favor. The only way we're gonna defy the odds is to do the same thing we did in Georgia last year. We need to move unprecedented support to MVP groups in all the top battleground states and districts, just like we did in Georgia. MVP supporting over 500 local organizations to win in 2022, just like we did in Georgia. Our goal is to register at least 70,000 new voters in the state of Texas. We're gonna be able to train up hundreds and hundreds of youth throughout the state of Arizona. It's more important now than ever to make sure that we're supporting these grassroots organizers on the ground that can get to the most marginalized folks. Now we can win by even wider margins than we ever thought was possible. And that all starts with investing right now. There are seven Senate seats in play, dozens of House seats, and governors and secretaries of state who will decide voting rules. Everything is at stake in 2022. The climate, the courts, racial justice, whether we have fair elections and whether we have a democracy at all. It's gonna make or break a lot of the issues that really Im impact us locally. Abortion access, education, COVID still ravaging our communities. Our lives are on the line. Still facing these economic changes at the verge of maybe a possible eviction crisis. That's what we're fighting for right now. The thing that I've learned from MVP is that if you have people on the ground, what they need is resources. Allow those folks to do what they know how to do now is always the best time to donate. Those who are most marginalized should be the ones at the forefront. MVP works with those organizations and those organizers. Now is the time to invest in local organizations and make the 2020s a progressive decade.